Okay, so let's do this test. Uh, this is the uh, Heil HM10 microphone switched to the HC4 cartridge. I'm running uh, just maybe 2 to 3 dB of clipping. So I'm going to turn up the uh, the clipping to see what happens. So now we're uh, we're at 5. It's beginning to sound a bit rough. And uh, that's 10 dB of clipping. I think you probably heard that on the air. Uh, that's uh, 15 dB of clipping, and that's 20 dB of clipping. So let's turn that back down. All right, I'm back down to where it's uh, uh, the needle sometimes moves and other times uh, it doesn't move. So maybe 2 to 3 dB of clipping. Again, this is the HC4 cartridge. Let me go to the 5, which is a higher pitch cartridge. All right, that's the 5, which uh, eliminates some of the lows. And again, uh, 2 to 3 dB of clipping, certainly not any more than that. And so let's turn the clipping up. That's about 5 dB. That's about 10 dB. That's about 15 dB. That's about 20 dB. So let's turn that back down to uh, 2 to 3. Um, the uh, Elecraft K3, the equalizer is set to zero. It's absolutely neutral. Basically, it's off. So there's no internal equalization going on uh, inside the K3. This is just the microphone straight into the front. So again, uh, this is the HM10. I'm talking into the top, uh, as I should. And let me, uh, then I'm on the uh, the high pitch cartridge, and I'll switch over to the low pitch cartridge, which I think sounds pretty good. So um, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't dismiss this for a DX microphone at all. It sounds great. Next microphone on my list is the Shure 444. So I'm going to unplug the HM10, put in the Shure microphone. We'll see how that sounds. I'll leave the uh, equalizer. Uh, flat. So give me just a second to swap mics. One, two, three. Okay, uh, I couldn't get the switch to work, so we'll just skip that for now. This is the uh, Shure 444 with uh, uh, about uh, 2 to 3 dB of clipping. We'll turn that up to about 5, uh, occasionally hitting 10. So that's about 10 dB of clipping. Uh, go to 15, go to 20. Uh, I'm going to go back down to... Uh, uh, to about two to three, which sounds pretty good. And this is uh, the uh, really inexpensive Shure 444, um, uh, and it sounds pretty good. All right, I'm going to unplug the 444. Uh, next microphone on my list will be the D104, the uh, Lollipop microphone. So back in a flash. This is the uh, the D104, and uh, I'm running uh, almost no clipping, so let me turn the gain up just a bit. Still no clipping. There we go. Now that's 3 to 5 dB of clipping. Uh, this is a, D, a static D104. Uh, turn the clipping up. That's about 5. Uh, approaching 10. That's about 10, D, 10 dB of clipping. Uh, again, it's beginning to sound a bit harsh. Uh, going to, uh, to 15 dB of clipping and then uh, 20 dB of clipping. Um, sounds really bad. So let's turn that back down. As I said earlier in the video, this is a really high-pitched microphone, so it's not all that bad. its uh, I would describe it as crisp. All right, the next microphone on my list is the Static 10DA, which is a dy dynamic microphone. Uh, the D104 is a crystal, so I'll swap the heads out and see how it sounds. Okay, this is the um, a Static 10DA that's my favorite microphone. Uh, again, the processing, or rather the equalizer in the K3 is flat. I'm running about 5 dB of clipping, which is uh, where I would typically have it. So let's run the clipping up. That's about 10 dB of clipping, uh, occasionally hitting 10. Uh, that's about 15 dB of clipping. I can hear I can hear some distortion. Uh, that's 20. That's 20 dB of clipping. So that's uh, that's not so good. So let's turn that back down. All right. So this is the. Um, I'll get this back down to 10. Uh, now rather two to three. So this is. Uh, 2 to 3 dB of clipping at the very most. Uh, and I'm going to go in and adjust the uh, the equalizer. So we'll uh, see if that improves the situation any. So I'm going to roll off the lows uh, below 300 hertz. Um, uh, here we go. So this is, um, got to get into the menu. All right, equalizer. And uh, this is a 50 cycle. So I'm going to take that out completely. Uh, doesn't matter. All right, that's uh, that's completely out. Uh, this is uh, 100 cycles, and again, I can take most of that out. And I did. I didn't change much because it's uh, really beyond the passband. So let's go to the next level on the equalizer. 
Uh, this is 200 hertz. I'm going to take it down uh, a couple of dB. Oh, that's down a couple of dB. Um, and I'm going to go to the next one. Uh, this is 800 cycles, and I'm going to uh, leave that at neutral. Uh, this is 1.6 um, kilohertz, and I'm going to run that up a lot. I'm going to uh, put that up to 10 dB. So um, I'm cranking that up. It's up. It's up at 10 dB. All right. The next step, uh, position number seven. Okay, I'm on position number seven, and um, that's at uh, 2.4. So this is really where I want to have a lot of emphasis. So I'm going to run that up to 14, plus 14. Okay, that's uh, that's plus 14. So now I've got uh, I've got I've pushed the emphasis at 2.4 kilohertz, and uh, the one prior to that up a lot. And I don't know if this one's going to matter. This is the last step at 3.2, and since um, some of it may slop over to 3, not sure how broad it is, so I'm going to push it up also. Okay, that's um, that's set to uh, to 16. So I, I push the emphasis uh, from 2 to 3 kilohertz pretty much to its max. Uh, and I think it sounds pretty good. And I'm running about 5 dB of clipping now. Uh, ALC indication is about uh, one quarter scale. So let's uh, let's turn the mic gain up while I'm doing that. Okay, so I'm going to turn up the mic gain. Um, uh, mic gain is set uh, so that I'm running ha um, half scale ALC. ALC. And I can hear a little bit of distortion. I see occasional peaks higher than that, so I'm going to back that down. Uh, I really like to run the ALC, so it's about quarter scale. So that's uh, this is typically pretty close to where I'd run things. Um, in a pileup, I might run a little bit more clipping, but uh, this to me is pretty pretty well clipped. So this is the static 10 dA uh, configured the way I would typically run it. Um, just for the fun of it, I'm going to take the 10 dA head off and stick the uh, D104 head on and just to see what it sounds like. I'm just curious. So I'm going to swap uh, uh, heads since they're the, they take the same stand. So back in a flash. Okay, this, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, this is the uh, the D104 with the uh, emphasis on highs. It's it's pretty shrill, so I don't think I'd use it that way. And uh, um, let me go to the oh my god, this sounds terrible. Let me go to the uh, HM10, leaving the equalizer where it's set. Uh, I think the message here is that the equalizer needs to be set for the individual microphone. Uh, even more important than the voice that's using it. So let's go to uh, uh, the uh, uh, Heil. Uh, HM10. Okay, this is the um, Heil HM10 uh, set to the. Uh, I've got this weird switch on it. It's. Uh, I've got a little bit too much clipping. I think it's got more output. So let me run that down a bit. So uh, that's about 5 dB of clipping. Uh, ALC occasionally hits about quarter scale, but almost doesn't register more than one bar. I think it sounds okay. So let's go over to the uh, flip cartridges. This is the HC4. And uh, that's the HC5, which again um, isn't terrible, and it would probably be okay for pileups. Uh, I don't know if I'd use it. Uh, it needs a bigger windscreen for sure. Let me go back to the other side. Okay, back to the other side. Uh, by that I mean the other cartridge, um, and I'm talking into the top. So this is the um, uh, the Heil HM10, which runs about a hundred bucks. Now I'm going to go to the cheapest microphone, which is the Shure 444. And let's see what that sounds like. All right, this is the uh, Shure 444. Um, for some reason, the switch on the front decided not to work. Maybe because I've been plugging it in and unplugging it. Oh, I'm on uh, on Vox, and it's not working that well. But anyway, uh, this is the $25 microphone. 
with the processing set for the 10DA, I'd probably run the, uh, the highs down just a bit, but it's not awful. So let's uh, uh, let's do that while I'm here. Um, I'll run the um, uh, the highs down. Sorry about the uh, switch noise. Okay, I've uh, I've lowered it just a bit, and I think it sounds really good. So this is a mic you can buy online, eBay, twenty-five to fifty bucks. Um, it works great. Uh, it's got a great. Uh, uh, it comes with a great stand. Uh, it's got an adjustable head. It's uh, it faces the right direction. Uh, it's got a decent windscreen on it, uh, and it sounds pretty crisp. So this is a very inexpensive microphone. Uh, just uh, just to make my point. You don't have to spend 500 bucks on a microphone. You can buy this thing for 25 to 50 bucks, uh, and sound as good as anything on the air. Anyway, that's the end of the test. Um, I can uh, run the uh, the micing up on uh, if we can distort with the ALC, and I'm I'm not sure because this thing is so well protected. So that's um, uh, that's with the uh, ALC almost full scale, and it it does sound uh, overly processed. So anyway, uh, that's full scale ALC. And I'll run that down to about one quarter ALC. Well, that's about uh, one quarter, and that's a little bit less. So, uh, to my ears, listening to it in the monitor, this sounds really good. Anyway, that's the end of the test. This is WD6LG. 